talk about how to clear a tub drain and uh, a little bit about some of those mysterious stoppers that uh, are supposed to hold the water in the tub and they're impossible to remove. We'll start with the four types of tub drain stoppers. There's the lift and turn. There's the open and close where you push here and you open it there. There's the trip lever, waste and overflow, that goes on the wall of the tub. That's for down, that's for drain. And then there's the push and pull. You don't have to turn it, you just push and pull. So to clear a tub drain, first you gotta remove the stopper. The stopper removes one of two ways. There's either a screw onto the side, you undo the screw and then this can lift off, or you unscrew the top button push this down and either use a screwdriver on this thing or a pair of pliers or your fingers if you're lucky to unscrew the post, bring out the stop. Okay, on the lift and turn, you can just start turning in a, in a uh, unscrew direction counterclockwise and hopefully it unscrews. If it doesn't, you just take your screwdriver under there and the post comes out and you've got the mechanism out of your way to clear the drain. On the one like this with the open and close the rubber uh, thing, all you have to do is put a pair of pliers around here or your hand and just unscrew it from the uh, tub fixture and it comes out. Then the trip lever tub waste. If you want to shop back that drain out, all you have to do is make sure it's in the drain position lever down. First you pull the hair that's built up on the cross pieces off the cross pieces with a pair of hemostats. You can use a sharp knife uh, if, if you have to cut it, but don't let it down the drain. You just reach down there and grab it all out and there could be a considerable amount. Now we'll clear the drain with a shop knife. You can take the screw off the overflow So that you can well chop back it, you push the vacuum hose here, you put your hand over here, this is all connected underneath, and you can feel the air sucking. And when you remove your hand, it allows a different vacuum pressure than when you put your hand on it. And by going like this, it causes a surging, and by going like this, it also causes and moving the, the piece around, agitating the waste that's in there. That stirs up all the hair down there, and you'll find when you remove the uh, vacuum hose that you've got wads of hair there, which you go at with the chemo stats again. And sometimes there's a uh, little rubber band of hair twisties that uh, girls have in their hair, there's, there's uh, toys, there's uh, objects in there mixed in with the hair and so on. Now, if you've pulled out a lot of uh, hair and soap scum or maybe some rubber bands and stuff with your shop back and your Nemo stats, uh, you've cleared your drain. Now, if nothing came back, um, chances are you could have a, a blockage in your drain line uh, downstream a bit and you'll need a snake and a plumber and all that. Uh, but otherwise, you've just cleared your drain. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And I can help. Ramonasplumber.com